Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation G, where today we're going to be using this wonderful team that comes to us from as a collaboration between Viking VGC and Harald HD. I will link both of their stuff down in the description, but they are also members of the Andy the Discord server. The link for that is also in the description. It is free to join. There's no kind of like special thing you got to do. You just get to hang out with Andy and all of the Andy La fans down there in the Discord server. But this is a very fun team. Um, basically, it's all EVs plus the uh, the brand new EV that we got this this uh, generation. You know, uh, Coridion. <laughs> The, the fighting dragon type evolution, right? Duh, obviously, it's all EVs. Very, very funny team. Basic idea here is we have a uh, scale shot Coridon set, nothing too, too crazy. It's Terra Fairy, which is interesting. Usually you see Terra Fire, um, even like a scale shot set. I mean, Coridon doesn't have much first dragon type moves. Usually I would I like to run Dragon Claw, but scale shot's a fun move. We have Leafeon, obviously backs it up very well. Solar Blade knockoff, Terra Blast attack. Leafeon's actually a pretty competent physical attacker, so it's really good here in the sun. We got Jolteon, just a fast, like, little bit of speed control, a little bit of, like, doing damage with, with Thunderbolt. Vaporeon, it's immune to Kyogre. That's all it's here for, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but it can wish, and you can switch out and heal, like, your 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 friends, basically. Umbreon, uh, same kind of deal. It's just a really bulky evolution, just here for, like, good support. Foul play, Snarl, Wish, Protect. You can wish yourself, you can wish your friends. And then Sylveon, just a really good attacker, really good special attacker, Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Helping Hand, Detect. Its ability makes all of those normal type moves Fairy type, which is really good. Um, that means that you can use Terror Blast as a Fairy type move, and then when you Terra, it's a Fire type move, and that's also really cool. Um, I don't know, it just seems like a really neat team. Hopefully we can get some good battles with it. As always, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see in the future, tell me what you think about this team. Just tell me you love me. I don't know. Do something down there in the comments. Um, and then subscribe. We're making new content all the time. I try my best, honestly. It doesn't come out as often as I would like. If I didn't have to work a full-time job, I would have a brand new, beautiful video for you every day. But unfortunately, that's not the way the world works. Okay. Pretty standard Trick Room team. Um, honestly, I'm kind of scared of this team. <laughs> Let me pull the paste up. I had the paste open and I... I closed it. Oof, me. Oof. Okay, I have the paste up now. Um, I don't know. We don't really have any taunt. I mean, I guess our best mod into this team is Umbreon, right? So, no taunt. We have no way to deal with Amoongus, which is actually rough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Karidon and Umbreon on the lead. We'll bring Espeon in the... Or, sorry, Sylveon in the back. And then I think... Hmm, I think Vaporeon does the best job of walling most of this team. A safety goggles or something on one of these mons would really help me out. I feel like maybe this is a really rough, uh, rough matchup for us. <sighs> okay, what do we got? Amoongus P2. Yeah, that's fair. Um, now, well, I can maybe just knock out this Amoongus, and that honestly will get us quite a long ways. So, I kind of think that's what I want to do. I mean, we can either, like, Flare Blitz into Amoongus, or we can try to knock out P2. But I think what I'm going to do is just straight up go for a Flare Blitz into Amoongus here. And then I will... I'm just going to Snarl. No Terra on the Amoongus. Alright, as long as it's not like Sash, we're knocking it out. And even if it is, Snarl should knock it out. I think we're good. As we don't need to stop Trick Room from getting up. Amoongus is really the biggest problem on this team. Taunt Umbreon would have been kind of cool, but... We're not running Taunt Umbreon. <laughs> Foul Play is really nice, though. Wow, that was a lot of recoil. All right, cheeky little special attack drop. Nothing wrong with that. There's the trick room. What did they have in the back here? Because honestly, Umbreon's pretty good into their team. As long as we like live, you know what I mean? I guess maybe like a wish might have been a good play. I guess they thought for sure I'd go for collision course, but really the big problem is the Moongus. Okay, it's Calyrex that comes in. That's fine. I'm just going to... Honestly, I'm just going to protect and then foul play, right? Like, I mean, do I really have anything else to do? Maybe we... Mm. I can Terra Water, too, which is kind of nice, honestly. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Terra Water. I'm going to go for the Foul Play. I don't think I have anything else that I want to Terra. Blood Moon comes in. Incineroar. Okay. That's fine. 
Incineroar is fine. I have Inner Focus. Uh, I'm probably switching Koridon out next turn, TBH. I wonder if they Terra to get around the foul play. It looks like they do. What's the Terra type? What are you going for? Okay, Terra Water's fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I don't know. If you, I guess if you think there's a chance that uh, Koridon somehow lives this turn, that's a good play. Which means maybe they went for a single... It's a single target move in the Umbreon. Maybe this is cl close combat uh, Calyrex. That'd be pretty scary. With the Terra Water, honestly, they shouldn't have any way to hit us with, really with either of these Pokemon. Koridon protects. You got me, Umbreon? They just go for Glacial Lance. Why did they Terra? There's no way that... Oh, I guess I guess Koridon could have terra right? They don't know whether my Terra is fairy. That's fair. Alright, so we foul play. That's a good chunk of damage, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to get the Vaporeon in just because it won't take as much damage here. I'm going to go for a Wish. I feel like they probably knock off my Citrus Berry. It looks like P2 is coming back in. We Did we see the ability on this P2? Is it download? It is download. Well, they got an attack boost. That's kind of good for me. I have a feeling there's a knockoff going into the Zumbreon slot. I guess I could have kept Karad on in. Because, like, honestly, neither of these mons want to eat Collision Course. But that's okay. Yeah, there's the knockoff. They knock off the Citrus Berry, but we get Wish off. So, like, honestly, it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just calm mine my Vaporeon. What's the item? Leftovers? I mean, getting knocked off wouldn't be great, but it is what it is. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Just two? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch into Koridon. We're gonna get that wish on a Koridon. Um, what's the spread? This might be a mistake. I got a little bit of bulk. The knockoff goes into Vaporeon. That's not very good. They just doubled Vaporeon? Oh, we're like fine. <laughs> that combine is kind of free. I mean, we lose our leftovers, but who cares? Incineroar is just being annoying at this point. Like, it's really not even scary. And now we get the wish on Koridon. And Koridon goes back to full HP. <laughs> Alright, so they really, really can't stop me. I'm just going to wish with Vaporeon. And protect. Okay, wish. We've decided. W wish is a good move, guys. <laughs> This, the, being able to switch into the Wish is, is basically the only reason for us to be running it over, uh, over, like, like, Moonlight or anything right now. Because Moonlight would heal 75%, but being able to heal our Koridon instead is pretty big. And now the sun goes away. We're plus one special attack. I can just, I'm gonna double the Porygon slot. Um... That way, if the obviously if the collision course doesn't KO, we'll get the KO with Scald. Bam, dead. No, it lives. Good. Good thing we doubled it. That's the only reason that I doubled that slot. <laughs> I do need to get Sun back up, kinda. They knock off the Karidon slot. Yeah, whatever. If we had the Sun off, I'd feel, Sun up. I'd feel a little bit better. And then we get Wish. <laughs> There's not a whole lot this Calyrex can do to us. I feel pretty confident in our um, our ability to knock out Incineroar here. Koridon might not do it just because um, the sun's not up. Nope. But I feel pretty comfortable just doubling the Incineroar. Because like, even if they knock out Koridon, right? And they get an attack boost. That just means foul play is doing more damage. Because we have all of our Pokemon in the back. That's so good. You know, the only way this turn could go better is if Scald gets a burn. What if we get a burn off the Scald here? That'd be pretty lit. Does Barely does any damage. No burn. Aw, oh, man. They really want to get rid of Vaporeon. Okay, yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to wish this turn. And I think we just collision course Calyrex. I mean, yeah, that's so good. We're so good at this game. <laughs>
What a what a stupidly fun team. Like this, there's no way that you should be allowed to do this in Reg G with like all EVs, but I have a feeling it just kind of works. It's one of those things, you know. I'm having a great time. Okay, another Calyrex team. Um, this one does have Raging Bolt, which is a little scary, and they also have their own weather, which is kind of scary. Let me think. Um, I kind of think we just go Calyrex Umbreon anyway. I got Volt Absorb. I do. Hmm. I kind of want to just bring the same four Mons. I feel like that's fine. <laughs> I feel like that's fine. Calyrex can't do any damage to Vaporeon or Umbreon, really. So, like, you know, I'm a little concerned because obviously this team has has Mons that can damage those those guys. But if we can get rid of Amoongus again, I feel pretty good about our odds. Again, a, a Taunt Umbreon would, I think would go a long way. <laughs> but you kind of need all those other moves, so I get it. All right, what do we got? Calyrex and Cinnaroar. Okay, so they're going to get a fake out off. I mean, that's fine. It is what it is. Um, let me think. They're gonna fake out Karidon. Do I care that much? Do, like, I really care that much? I think we do this, right? And if they don't fake out uh, Karidon, then, like, it's free. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do this. I mean, hopefully, you know, Amoongus isn't in the back if they let Incineroar, but... This is going to be sketchy, guys. They're definitely going to fake out something. They, they're never going to fake out Umbreon, but they could just decide not to click fake out. There's the fake out. Yeah, that's fine. How much does foul play do, though? Real talk? That's a lot of damage. That's like... You're not coming back from that amount of damage. I might even be okay to just... Do this. <coughs> TBH? I'm gonna do it. You know what? I believe in them. I think Karidon eats one Glacial Lance if I Terra. It might eat one Glacial Lance if I don't Terra. I don't know, but I for sure eat a Glacial Lance if I Terra. Okay, Calyrex switches. Um, this could be the Amoongus in the back. It is the Amoongus in the back. That's really rough. I wish I had Flare Blitz that slot. Oh, we double switch. Uh, Pelipper? Yeah, okay. That's fair. That's fair. I might regret using my Terra the way that I did. Let me think about this. Mm. This Amoongus is going to be a problem. <clears throat> I mean, real talk, I can't do a whole lot about it. Even if I had Flare Blitz that slot, I don't think I could have knocked out the Amoongus. The only thing they can do now is put my whole team to sleep. Oh, and it's Rocky Helmet. Of course it's Rocky Helmet. It's always Rocky Helmet. I should have just doubled the... <laughs> the animation when Pelipper takes damage is so funny, guys. Like, real talk, it's so funny. Okay, so we have three turns of Trick Room that we have to get through here. I'm going to... I'm going to attack with my Karidon. And... I'm going to click Wish. Like, if they put me to sleep now, like, I think that's fine. Yeah, because we have turns to, like, like work through the sleep now. You know what I mean? They don't have any of their big attackers on the field. And we're slower than Pelipper, which is nice. They do go for the Hurricane into, into Umbreon. Okay. Coridon has a chance to wake up this turn. A wake up would be super clutch. I'm just going to keep doing this. Like I said, we have the time to work through sleep right now. Um, so we should take that time now. Pelipper switches. Okay. It's got to be... I don't know. It could be Incineroar. It is Calyrex. Okay. They really want to put Umbreon to sleep, which I get. I mean, I get it. I got to just try to wake up. I mean, that's honestly all I can do. Oh, they're going to Pollen Puff. They're going to Pollen Puff the Calyrex. Yep, you're a jerk. <laughs> you're a punk-ass punk. Let me tell you. They are in foul play range still, though. If they don't Terra, Ka Karidon's still asleep. That's really rough. We get the Wish, though. And we still have our Citrus Berry. I have a decent chance of waking up this turn. But I think what I'm going to do is... Switch into Vaporeon. 
I have to just go for the foul play. I'm probably going to get spored, but there isn't really a ton I can do about it. I kind of need the sun up. <clears throat> if I get spored this turn, I have a chance of waking up next turn. They do Terra. Yeah, that's fair. Don't love it, but that's fair. I can't believe there's not a single answer to Amoongus on this team, guys. What were you thinking? What were you guys thinking? Where's your Amoongus answer? Of course, it's like the one thing you don't have an answer for. They pollen puff again. I'm going to get the foul play off. It doesn't even do 50% to Umbreon. It's kind of lit, honestly. And now Trick Room ends. But Amoongus is here, and I really can't do anything about it. Where's the... T <laughs> I'm just frustrated because I really... I can't do anything. Um, I'll, I'll go for the Scalding Calyrex. If we get a burn, that's kind of huge. I'm just going to go for a Wish here. Rage Powder is fine. Getting a burn on Amoongus is not, would not like be that great, but it is what it is. We get a Wish off, which is good. They set Trick Room up, it's whatever. <sighs> Let me think about this. Low key, I kind of want to switch Umbreon into Karidon. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to Wish here. I'm going to switch to Karidon because they can't... If they spore that slot, like, they can't put me to sleep now. They might even just, like, Pollen Puff or something stupid. But we'll eat the Glacier Lance. We'll get back our HP, right? We're just playing the Wish all of our Pokemon game, honestly. Pelipper can always come back in, which is kind of rough, but... Calyrex protects. That means they went for a Spore somewhere. A Spore into Vaporeon is crazy. I feel like you've got no reason to do that. I think they just want to spore both things, to be honest. Okay, so Karina's going to have full HP. Which is not very great value, but it's like a little bit of value, you know? This is scary, guys. I'm going to just keep clicking, clicking Wish on Vaporeon. Let's see if Karadon wakes up. If Karadon wakes up and we can knock out this Amoongus... No! <laughs> God, I hate Amoongus. Guys, come on! You don't have a single answer to Amoongus on this team? Y'all are insane. We have one Mon that's immune, and it's not a Pokemon that can do anything to Calyrex. Okay, about 50% is fair. Vaporeon wakes up, so we get the Wish off there, which is kind of big, actually. Karidon does not wake up. Oh, that's so rough. That's going to be a full three turns of sleep on Karidon. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just... Can I just wish again? I actually don't know. Yeah, I'm going to wish again. And... I mean, Karidon wakes up this turn, right? I'm going to switch to Umbreon here. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I guess that's fair. This stupid-ass Amoongus coming back in. Are you happy with yourself, Amoongus? Because honestly, I don't think anybody's happy with you. Damn, this is going to be a long game. Does it fail? It does fail. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure. I, I guessed wrong. Umbreon hangs on, though. Umbreon's a trooper. Um, yeah, that's fine. Vaporeon doesn't take any damage. They just, just just ignored Vaporeon. How many turns of everything do we have? This is the last turn of Trick Room? Alright. Well, I wish the Wish Chain had gone off, huh? Calyrex probably comes back in now, right? I feel like it almost has to. Alright, let's go for it. No. Wait. Yeah, let's do this. I don't know if this is the right play, but let's do it. If they spore the Vaporeon slot, then they're gonna just spore into Karadon, who's still asleep. Mmm, this is gonna be scary, actually. I'm kinda scared. Karadon could take too much damage here, for sure. 
They do spore into Coridon. That's super huge. And we can miss Hurricane? Oh, that's right. I forgot I was slower than the, uh, the Pelipper. They do miss the Hurricane. Alright, everything's kind of coming up Millhouse here. Is there any chance this Amoongus stays in? I almost want to call the Amoongus switching out, but like... You know? <laughs> what if I'm wrong? <laughs> um... Alright. I'm going to protect Karadon. And... I'm going to Snarl. Amoongus does switch out. Okay. We know Incineroar comes in. Okay, that's a Pokemon that can do some stuff. I almost just collision course that slot, and I guess I should have, huh? We could have just straight up taken a good KO there. Because now we can get faked out, which, you know, is kind of scary. I'm going to end up out of position here. And Pelipper just protects. Hmm. They're, they're out of position now, but, like, not really, you know? <laughs> we do literally no damage to Incineroar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, Umbreon's a Everything's at full health. Like, honestly, everything except for, except for Coridon's just at full health right now. Um, How many turns of Sun are left? Three? Alright, let's do this. Let's play this game. Let's get Sylveon in. I, I wish I could Terrifier this. Yeah, Calyrex is going to come in on that slide and they're going to fake me out. No, it's Amoongus that comes in. How interesting. That means they're going to switch Incineroar into Pelipper. I mean, I guess I respect it, but I don't have to like it, you know? <laughs> That's fair. I really just don't have anything to deal with this Amoongus. Um, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch Karidon out. Let's go Vaporeon because less things damage it. And let's just... We're Throat Spite? Let's just go for a Hyper Voice this turn. I think I feel okay about that. I feel like Incineroar is gonna switch into Pelipper, and if it doesn't, I feel like they've misplayed. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to get the Hyper Voice off onto Pelipper, which is good. And Amoongus just protects. Okay. Okay, I like that. That's pretty good for me. So we're going to get the Hyper Voice off for free. How much do we do? Should do a decent chunk to Pelipper. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wish with my Vaporeon, and I'm going to just protect with Sylvia on this turn. Yeah, I think Calyrex is coming in. No, Incineroar comes back in. That's so interesting. But why? Just for Fake Out? Just to get, get something to sleep? Like, I really don't know. I think they have to sleep a bunch of stuff because, like, they're never going to KO anything this way. I wished so I would have the, like, the chance to, like, maybe, you know, switch Karate on in next turn and get some healing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna Scald. And... I guess I'm just gonna Terra Blast. We kinda, I mean, I'm not gonna KO this Incineroar, but we kinda have space to, like, get put to sleep right now. That's, like, no damage. That's in the rain, bro. <laughs> They get the Spore off into Vaporeon. Okay, I get, yeah, they really thought Karidon was coming in. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm just gonna Calm Mind, and when I wake up, I'll click Calm Mind. I think that's fine. I'm gonna go for this Terror Blast on Incineroar. I think we'd knock it out. And that's one less thing they can switch around. Alright, they do knock off our leftovers. It's fine. If I knock out Incineroar, I'm happy. 
No! This is Assault Vest Incineroar. This is how we find out that they're running Assault Vest Incineroar. That's like no damage. That's crazy. I'm at plus one. I mean, I guess I'm not running a ton of special attack, but... I think all we can do is just double. Aw, oh, man. That really sucks. I think they're going to switch Calyrex in and Polypuff it. It's a good play. Vaporeon could wake up this turn. No. No such luck. Aw, oh, man. Spore is such an unfair move on Amoongus. Why is Amoongus the only mushroom Pokemon that's allowed to be good? Can you stop that? Why did they give Amoongus Pollen Puff, guys? I feel like it's not fair for Amoongus to have Pollen Puff. Okay, let me think. Um, I gotta just keep these guys in. I'm just gonna wish. And... I'm gonna just go for the Terra Blast. I mean, we'll see how much it does. Vaporeon stays asleep. Not what I wanted to see at all. Sylveon does wake up. They're gonna get the Trick Room off. That's a good chunk. It's not gonna be enough, unfortunately. They just Glacial Lands. Oh, okay. Did they just Pollen Puff? Wow. Okay. Okay. That is a lot of damage, guys. Um, I don't like that. Alright, so I'm going to wish Vaporeon on this turn. I'm going to just click Detect. I can't believe we didn't even knock out this Incineroar, man. It's still kicking. That Incineroar is still alive. <clears throat> Three minutes until the battle ends. Uh-oh. We're actually in trouble. This battle's going to go to time? Gosh. Guys. Why don't you guys have any answer for Amoongus? I hate this. I hate this. If I have to face another Calyrex Sun team, I'm gonna cry. Um, I'm gonna have to just switch, right? Well, no. I guess Sylveon... Sylveon can't KO anything, though. Uh, I need to take a KO. But none of my Mons are gonna be able to take a KO. <laughs> this is maddening. We're going to go to time. I'm going to lose them on, and I'm going to lose in time. Guys, I love this team, but you need one thing. You need to have one thing on here for Amoongus. Like, just give me something. It's actually a really smart pollen puff. All right, Vaporeon gets healed. Hmm. I don't think I can win. Their mons in the back have too much HP. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually an insane battle. And I'm kind of mad that I have to be the one playing it right now. Yeah, they're just going to go for damage. It's fair. They set up the Trick Room. Interesting. I don't think the total amount of HP on all of my mons is more than the total amount of HP on all of their mons. <clears throat> I think I just lose. Okay, Spore was into Vaporeon there. What a game, man. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a pain in my ass to edit. Yeah, I think my only chance is to run out the timer and like somehow hope that my mons all have more HP, but uh, I don't think so. Like, there's no way. Who wins? Hooray! I won?! <laughs> I guess the Pelipper and the Incineroar were both really low, but man, what a stupid-ass game. Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess this is gonna be it. I mean... Man, do I want to play one more? What if I get another Calyrex uh, team? No, I think this is gonna be it. It's gonna be just these two battles.
If you enjoyed this video, guys, remember, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see in the future, tell me whatever you want to tell me. Go join the Andy Lee Discord server, go check out Viking VZGC and Herald HD, and subscribe, you freeloaders. My name's Andrew, I'll catch you guys next time. Bayleaf is a dinosaur from second generation. It makes me sad that Bayleaf's bad in every situation. Bayleaf comes to those who wait for her with arms stretched open. We can all still love Bayleaf, not every mon is broken.